So after the launch and success of Samsung S22 Ultra, OnePlus is feeling heat for sure. This is the first time OnePlus is planning for a max out ultra variant with a Periscope lens and TSMC's 8 Gen 1 Plus Silicon. Seen my speed test out of all 8 Gen 1 flagships, OnePlus 10 Pro was the only one matching the speed of Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max and of course, it went 9 plus hours in the battery test. So it is overall a nice flagship but missing out some main features like IP68, 5x or 10x zoom and nice attractive OS. The exciting and shocking news is this all is gonna change because we have confirmation from DCS Weibo and many leakers from China about a Pro Plus OnePlus flagship. Chat Station says OnePlus will be using Oppo's resources like its ISP which is Mari Silicon X. He says next device is also gonna have IP68 rating which is perfect. So yes again OnePlus 10 Ultra is in the works with TSMC's 8 Gen 1, IP68 rating, Periscope lens likely 5x and also an attractive OS which you might have heard is Oxygen OS 13. So yes Unified OS is Oxygen OS 13, OnePlus is not leaving that name Oxygen OS cause that's what OnePlus is and this time they are asking users for co-creation of this new operating system. This announcement came hours after the official launch of Android 13 for Pixel devices. So like always the Oxygen OS 13 is based on A13 which is no shocker. The basic idea behind this OEF is you all can shape Oxygen OS which is awesome. Some news on Material U, it is official, Google is working with OnePlus to implement the dynamic theme system. Yes, with A13 OS, even custom icons can make use of dynamic theming, so Oxygen OS icons will be colorful as well. OnePlus often launches the latest Oxygen OS beta with the official beta of Android OS. This means we may see it for the OnePlus 10 Ultra or Pro variant as early as April or May this year. Some news on OnePlus Nord, OnePlus is working on some exciting mid-range devices like Nord 3, Nord CE Lite and Nord CE 2. This is OnePlus Nord CE 2 sorta of low-end device with single piece back this means integrated module containing a few cameras. This device is gonna have 64 megapixel main, 8 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel filler with 16 megapixel front facing selfie shooter. Now OnePlus is using a 6.43 inch 90Hz AMOLED display the side hole punch and that chin is from 90s. Shockingly the Nord CE2 features Dimensity 905G CPU which is like a mid-range powerful silicon. There's 4500mAh battery and 65 watts of fast charging too. So a decent device overall the pricing for Indian market could be 24k INR which is like okayish price. Sad part is it's still coming with Oxygen OS 11 this means OnePlus is surely having some issues with Oxygen OS 12. Cause last year they had all devices with latest OS. This is quite sad and shocking. So this all guys OnePlus 10 Ultra is in the works. The upcoming unified OS aka Oxygen OS 13 is officially confirmed and OnePlus is launching some exciting devices like Nord CE2 this month. Thanks so much for watching and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.